Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are talking about ultrasonic distance measurement. How is this working? Well, we have a specific device for it. That's it. That's an ultrasonic distance measurement device. How is this working? We have one receiver, we have one transmitter. Yeah, marked with T and R, transmitter and receiver. The transmitter is issuing an ultrasonic sound impulse. Yeah. This will travel away. Somewhere, some surface, this will be reflected and received by the receiver. So this, this is a loudspeaker, speaker, this is a microphone, right? And from the traveling time, there and back again, we know what the distance is, we can calculate what the distance is, all right? So this is how ultrasonic distance measurement is working. Send an ultrasonic impulse, that's nice because we don't need, we don't hear it, yeah, and receive the impulse back. Basically it's just working like radar, but not with radio, detection ranging, radio, yeah. uh, but with, with sound. So it's working a little bit like a sonar. Uh, this specific device does have one dedicated transmitter and one de 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 dedicated receiver. Uh, this is quite nice because some devices only have a combined transmitter and receiver. They need to switch. Yeah? So the transmitter is transmitting something and then the switch need to have some time for switching it to receiving mode and this is why a lot of those devices with a combined transmitter and receiver does have a minimum distance yeah, which is quite far away one meter or something like this around yeah. this device here has no minimum distance or almost no because if you are really close because simply because the receiver is always watching hearing Hearing, yeah, receiving. It's always receiving. Uh, how do we control this? Well, there are three pins. Uh, the pins are marked, so the left, the one closer to the transmitter, this is VCC. Uh, it's called power supply. 3 to 3 would be enough. 5 volt does not matter, yeah? so we can directly use this as our Arduino. On the other side, we have here ground. Okay, so this is ground. We connect it to ground. Now it's power supplied this thing. Yeah? And then there are two other things. Yeah? There is Use the green and orange. Yeah, there's here. This is called trigger. Trigger. Huh? And here we have echo. What does it mean? How? What do we? Do we do with this trigger and echo? Well, at some point in time, there's the time. Huh? At some point in time, we have to give the trigger a rising edge. Okay, there is the trigger. Book falling back to zero. This must have at least some microseconds yeah there's look in the data sheet so we are going up to five volts here yeah this is the trigger this trigger is triggering this device to issue a ultrasonic impulse okay now the ultrasonic impulse is underway yeah what is happening with echo here, at this point in time, yeah, where we triggered it, uh, 
I need now the orange color. Where is it? Ah, use this. Here, at this point in time, we will go up to also 5 volt. And this will stay up until the impulse is received. Yeah? So from the duration here, this duration of the I will call it TT travel time. This is the traveling time of the impulse. And out of this duration, we could calculate the distance. All right? This is how this is working. So we just have to make sure that we are triggering this, the measurement, and start to listen. Yeah? So this must be an output of our Arduino. This must be an input. We're triggering with the output. At the input, we look how long it takes until we drop to zero. This is how this ultrasonic measurement device is working. Next time we have a look how we program this. Okay, so next time we are using this to really measure. We will measure just, just the time. Okay, measure just the time. Yeah, principal function you should understand now. Next video application. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.